my heartbeat increases while trading and after that I take wrong decisions on not following my trade plan. I like that question. So I consider myself, I've been through a lot. I'm sure a lot of traders have been through very similar um, emotional kind of self-sabotage routes. With getting nervous while trading, um, it's definitely a confidence thing or you are simply risking too much money on your trades. When I first got into trading, I was I was doing the same thing. Um, I would enter a trade, I would get very sweaty, I would get nervous, um, and I just, trading is uncertainty. And as humans, we need to know, we want to know, I should say, what happens next or what's going to happen, and we feel like we need to have control. Um, when the fact is, we actually have no control over the financial market. We have no idea what's gonna happen. We take an entry based on what our system and trade plan tells us to do, and we literally have to play out the probabilities, whether it hits our stop loss or if it hits our targets, it is still a great trade if we are following our trade plan. The thing that gets more emotions involved and makes us kind of do silly things, get our opinions involved is either you are overanalyzing your chart, so you're doing too much analysis and you're getting analysis paralysis, um, you're risking too much, so you are in a trade, and you obviously have too much capital at risk. It um, There are so many factors that go into it. The best thing that helped me was to remove as much subjectivity as possible and focus on the process and stop being outcome driven. So the biggest thing for me um, when my heartbeat increased in trading was when I started trading my live um, real cash, live money, I would enter a trade and I would be so fixated on the P&L. And when you're up, you know, let's just say two, three, four hundred dollars, and you can literally by a click of a button, you can secure that profit. And you know, four, five hundred dollars is a lot of money to some people, especially if you're day trading. Um, as soon as you see that PL start climbing back down, you get really nervous if you're so focused on the PL and the outcome of the trade. So that's why it's so important to be process driven instead of outcome driven. So what helped me with that was simply doing a ton of back testing. Um, a lot of people know the amount of back testing I've done. It helps you build confidence in the system since you understand the probabilities. So this is my back testing. This is literally trading, back testing in historic data. These exact patterns you're seeing here. So this would have been the entry. This would have been the entry where I have it marked up over here. So this candle. And what I've basically done is in historic data, I have tested these patterns over and over again. These are the ASFX A1 um, system entries. And what I did is, is I back tested them from um, July, 2020, all the way up to July, 2021. Doing that and understanding how those patterns repeat and are profitable, which is the most important things, gives you confidence to execute and pull the trigger and let whatever happens, happens in the live market. So you kind of remove all that emotions out of it because not that you know, but you now have something in front of you. You have data based on historic um, historic data, the same patterns that you would hit execute in the live market, you now have data on. And this is all the back testing I've done on them. You can see the best performing months, the amount of trade you would have taken, the best performing pairs, and your PL over time. Having this data in front of you, I've even, actually what I'll do is I'll open this up in a minute. I've even filtered out the time zones I even trade. So with all this data I have accumulated, I've filtered out five o'clock to 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And what that does is it gives me the best probable data of knowing how my system is gonna perform, the drawdown I'm gonna go in. So if I take one loss, two loss, four losses, five losses, I know based on this, I can take up to nine losses in a row. So if I'm eight losses deep, nine losses, as soon as I hit that ninth loss in an, uh, my $9,000 drawdown, if you're risking 1% on a $100,000 account, you understand that this is part of probabilities and it's part of how the system plays out. But overall, if you keep trading it, letting those probabilities play out, you're gonna come out profitable. You're gonna dig yourself out, even with a 61.6% .6 strike rate, you're gonna come out 181% prof profitable at the end of 12 months. And you gotta remember, all this data here isn't filtered. It's only, only thing I filtered out is just the time zones. And what I'll show you guys right now is, I think that was A1. So this was 
So this was five o'clock to 9 p.m. <clears throat> this is, so this data is 5.30 to 10, and you can see how the, win, uh, the strike rate increases a little bit more. And then this is 6.30 to 9. So if you guys are in AceFX and you're watching this, um, this is interesting as well based on testing. Um, just by adjusting the time frames you trade, this is all unfiltered data as well. So 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time yields you a 73.5% strike rate without filtering out your trades. Whereas if you're trading from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, it's 61.2%. So simply by changing your time frame a little bit, you can increase or decrease your strike rate um, and your profitability as well. Uh, it's simply, you are taking advantage of different time zones, different market conditions. You're either trading while the London session has settled. So as soon as London opens, if you take an entry, you are gonna get shaken out. There is so much volatility sometimes when London market opens. Um, an hour after the London market, market opens, it kind of calms down. And then if you get an entry, that usually has a lot of momentum in your favor. So there are so many things that um that can kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, so many things that can simply change the course of how your system based on the same patterns um, will play out. And this is just, raw unfiltered data um the only thing i like i said was the time frame if you started so with ace effects if i jump over here if you start taking trades purely out of the asia range you increase your win rate if you want to test divergence against your trade so if you have bearish or bullish divergence um, and you test that 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 may um influence your trading um, outcome and it may increase or decrease your trading probabilities so there's just a ton of things you can do in trading and i think Coming back to confidence, you gotta build something that fits your personality and fits kind of your lifestyle. You can pick a system off the shelf that is proven profitable, just like the Ace Effect systems, but eventually you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to kind of tweak it and kind of fit it into your own kind of lifestyle and your own trader personality.